My name is Chris, and I'm 39 years old. Chris is a former Army Ranger who is passionate about playing and coaching soccer. I was active. I had to be in shape. I played soccer, and that was the biggest thing with soccer. First time I experienced pain was in 2003 in Afghanistan. We went down for a water resupply and put my ruck on and felt sharp pain down my legs. And there was no way to get out of that area because we were in a remote location. The next time a serious issue came about was in 2006 in Iraq. Uh, it put me out for two weeks as well. Uh, I got a little bit of treatment, but x-ray showed nothing. And once it ended, I uh, went back to work. 2009, I uh, had another episode and I could barely walk. Went to ER in Georgia. Got an MRI and took it back to my doctors. I went and saw an orthopedic surgeon and basically told me that I couldn't do my job in the military anymore. What I was experiencing when I was back outside the military was pain, constant pain shooting down my legs. Regardless of what I was doing, I fought through the pain. Well, sometimes depending on the pain level, I couldn't really do much. I just stay in bed. So we moved down to Florida in 2013 and my wife saw a commercial with Dr. Bonatti and she sent it to me and to try it out. And so I submitted a form and it rolled on from there. In 2000, January 2015, I had, a, had surgery. Dr. Bonatti diagnosed Chris with a herniated disc at L5 S1. The individual who has an injury on L5 S1 level will, will hurt on the back and then the pain will radiate towards the buttocks and the pain will then go to the back of the thigh, by back of the calf, and the small toe. And those pains can be partial or total, depending how much of the nerve is compressed. If the nerve is compressed partially, the pain will be on the back and may reach the butt. And if the pain, the compression of the nerve is farther, then will reach the upper part of the thigh, on the back of the thigh. But if the compression is total, it's a big compression in that area, reach all the way down to the foot. Dr. Bonatti treated Chris through the Help for Wounded Warriors program, which provides free services to selected service members. Well, I think it's moral from part of the physicians uh, uh, to attend uh, wounded warriors, uh, individuals that they protect the country, they put their life uh, in jeopardy and their families in jeopardy to protect us. The minimal thing that should be done by a citizen who has a privilege to study in the country and be protected by these people is to also pay back with some type of support or some type of a work that benefit them. Chris underwent the Bonatti spine procedures in November 2015. So I remember everything. The anesthesiologist was talking me through the entire procedure and Dr. Bonatti was also speaking to me as well to get feedback. The day after I came in and got the um, bulb out of my back and that's when all the pain subsided. Uh, usually an individu individual that's a young individual in a very good uh, type of a uh, physical condition uh, will injure uh, only one level uh, unless it's a massive type of an explosion or something like that then can be a problem in different levels but somebody like him who got injured because he left his uh, backpack and you know the backpack can go from 20 pounds to 90 pounds or more so because of that the bad position in somebody who's a little tired sometimes can can produce an effect like happened with him that he blow a disc today chris is back doing what he loves including playing soccer after the surgery uh, two weeks later, I came back out and played, and it, it was nice to play again without pain.
As a soccer coach, I can actually get out there with the girls and show them how to do things and actually work out with them as opposed to just telling them what to do and watch them. He's also enjoying other hobbies like photography. Filming and shooting wildlife, you have to get in precarious positions in order to do that and it makes it easier to get down and up. So one thing I like to shoot are snakes. Um, in order to see from the snake's point of view, you need to get down at its level. So depending on where you're at, you have to get in the prone and shoot. And if it's a poison snake, then you have to be quick on your toes. If I was dealing with the mold back issues, it would be more dangerous. <laughs> I'd like to thank Dr. Bonatti and his staff for a very wonderful experience throughout the entire process. Thank you very much. He was a great patient and a young guy, so we fixed him. We had one surgery and he did fantastic.